Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P1420 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P1420? Well, it's a NOx absorbative catalytic system efficiency below threshold. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's a problem with the catalytic converter and the onboard computer seeing this and reporting back to this code. And so what are some possible causes? Well, it could be the catalytic converter, which is the most common problem. It could be a HO2 sensor, either the second or the third one, and possibly a software update, which is pretty rare. And what is this catalytic converter? How does it look? What's going on in there? Well, as most know, it's for emissions and it's on the exhaust. One thing about catalytic converters is, is that while they have come down in price, they, they are ex more expensive than many other items quite often. It will depend on your year of your, of your Honda. If they have recently come down in prices compared to what they were at one time they were like eight hundred dollars to a thousand dollars but now they seem a little more reasonable let me jump over on amazon and again it's going to depend on your honda but they have come down in price so they they're not those crazy high prices like they used to be at least right now who knows how it's going to be in the future so the number one problem with this code is very likely it's going to be a bad catalytic converter, but some other things can also cause this. So you have the sensors and you have some uh, O2 sensors that can also be the problem in some cases. This is kind of rare. Most of the time, it, this isn't the problem, but it can be. So it's something to keep in mind. You'll have your upstream and your downstream sensor, which is the one before the catalytic converter and the one after the catalytic converter. And these sensors can go bad or the wiring go bad. Sometimes something will come up underneath the vehicle and hit this wiring harness or the wiring and bad wiring could cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So that's something to keep in mind. Be sure to examine the wiring and the wiring harness and that it is possible that these two sensors have gone bad. Now, if you take it to a mechanic shop, more than likely they're just going to change out the catalytic converter. Now, if you take it to a mechanic shop, very likely they're going to change out the catalytic converter and if that doesn't solve the problem, they'll change out these two sensors. I have heard from people that they run cleaner through it and then they you can get rid of it at least for a while anyways they have different types of cleaners like this cataclean on amazon a lot of people they swear up and down that this works I, i've never really uh, used it too much so i can't really say if it was me i would just go ahead and change out the catalytic converter and be done with it but quite often a lot of people they'll they'll run this through and then they'll clear the light you have to have an obd2 scan tool you have to clear the light and what they'll do is they'll pour this in and then they'll take it out on like the freeway or something like that. They'll really rev up the engine and really get it going good. Because if you if you drive a vehicle slowly, it's not blowing out a lot of that out of the catalytic converter, a lot of the stuff, the buildup inside of there. So they'll pour this in and then they'll take it, they'll take it down the freeway, the vehicle, you know, really rev it up for like 15, 20 miles or so. Then they'll come back, they'll clear the light with an OBD2 scan tool. And many of them say that this works. Like I said, I haven't really used it, so I can't really state whether it works or not. But if you want to try it, it's called like Cataclean. They've got some other types too. I've just heard this brand name before. But so you could try that if you wanted to. But more than likely, it's going to be the catalytic converter is going to need to be replaced, or at least eventually. There's some kind of sign as a wear and tear. So even if you get it to work temporarily, yeah, be prepared that soon you're going to have to be replacing this catalytic converter. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of what you can do if you have a Honda with the P1420 code and how you go about fixing it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.